And now, Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Eric Ash. This past weekend gave us a lot of moisture, so we have a lot of saturated surfaces. We still have some remnants of precipitation in and around to include Pocatello for the past hour. We've been experiencing a little bit of light snow, but also if you see some solid white, solid green, that is snow and rain being picked up on radar. So exiting to the southeast is are the remnants of the precipitation from this past low pressure system and then after that we were left we are left with a very saturated air mass giving us fog formation so we have a lot of patchy dense fog for your morning commute be very careful once you encounter patchy dense fog you do want to slow down don't use your high beams keep your low beams on using your high beams will illuminate more moisture suspended in the atmosphere restricting your visibility that much more so winds forecasted for today, especially for the Snake River Plain, getting into the 20s of miles per hour, up to 25, gust up to 25 miles per hour. Snake River Plain today, temperatures will be in the low 50s. Pocatello and Blackfoot have a high of 51. Idaho Falls has a high of 53. For the Southeast Highlands, we're more so in the 40s, mostly sun. Winds will pick up, gust up to 18 miles per hour for the Central Mountains, temperatures in the 50s and 40s. And for the Eastern Highlands, winds will stay pretty gentle up to 10 miles per hour with temperatures in the 40s but on the Wyoming side will be closer to the upper 30s. Afton and Yellowstone both have a high of 37. Tonight for the Snake River Plain will be at freezing and below 32 for Pocatello, 29 for Idaho Falls and, and Blackfoot together. Southeast Highlands temperatures will be in the 20s also below freezing and then also below freezing Central Mountains will be 31 for Chalice, Salmon's at 30 and in the 20s also below freezing for the Idaho side and then teens for the Wyoming side. These are your low temperatures for tomorrow. High temperatures will be trending upwards and above average for this time of year. Pocatello almost reaching 60 degrees along with Idaho Falls and Blackfoot. They all have a high of 59. American Falls has a high of 60 degrees. Southeast Highlands, Income has a high of 54. So does Springs Montpelier have a high of 49. So 50s and upper 40s. For the Central Mountains, we've got 60s for Chalice and Salmon, and then 50s for the rest. For the Eastern Highlands tomorrow, mostly sun and calm winds, temperatures in the 40s for the Wyoming side, and then very low 50s for the Idaho side. Now let's take a look at the Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer 7-day forecast. 51 is the high for today. High pressure starting to build today for the next few days, and that will lead to an upwards trend in our high temperature. You see our our locations we're starting to get into the 60s by the middle of the work week and the school week for Idaho Falls high temperature will be 53 getting to 59 tomorrow and then staying in the fifth in, in the 60s for the rest of the work week we'll, we'll experience another low pressure system enter our area starting late Thursday into Friday and then with colder temperatures on Saturday that'll lead to solid precipitation of snow for the Teton area high temperature of 42 today getting into the 50s later in the week back to you Dan.